knowledge is power. Hide it well. Good afternoon, survivors. This is The Dark Files, Focus on Reality. On today's episode of The Librarian of the Inquisition, another book review, The Courage to be Disliked, from Japanese to English. I brought this book a couple of years ago when I was still in the workplace where I was getting abused. And I haven't read it for a couple of years until um, a couple of months ago. And I'm about three fourths in, about 160 pages out of 200 and something pages. And it teaches you a different way of thinking, a different way of um, looking at perspectives. I'm going to read you a couple of pages in, in this dialogue between a philosopher and a student or youth. And hopefully you'll get a bit of an understanding of what this um, book's all about. I've got the other book, The Courage to Be Happy. And um, so far um, I can't put this book down. It's really good. So um, let's get right into this. and. Um, and I encourage people actually to be disliked because that, that's my problem for the last 40 years. You know, what's wrong with me? You know, I'm not good enough. And I'm, am I doing anything right? And um, I've discovered that it's got nothing to do with me. They dislike me because they can't be me. So with further ado, I'll, I'll read you a couple pages here and um, Let's get into it. The real freedom is. Philo philosopher. Earlier you acknowledged that you don't want to be disliked by anyone you, and said, there's no one anywhere who'd go so far to actually want to be disliked. Youth, right, philosopher. Well, I'm the same way. I have no desire to be disliked by other people. I would say that no one would go so far to actually want to be disliked in a sharp insight. Youth, it's a natural desire. Philosopher, even so, regardless of the effort, of our efforts, there are people who dislike me and people who dislike you. This too, is a fact when you are disliked or you feel you are being disliked by someone what state of mind does that put you in does that ring any bells to anyone it does to me very distressful it puts it simply I wonder why I've come to to be disliked what did I do or, or said that I might have a offended, offended. I think I should interact with people in a different way and just broad and broom over it and riddle with guilt. No, you don't do that at all. They're making you inferior. They're making you look like you've done something wrong. Uh, I don't quite think so. Philosopher. Not wanting to be disliked by other people. To human beings, this is a natural desire and an impulse. A Kent, the giant modern philosopher, called, the, called this desire youth. The philosopher. Yes, it is one's insecurity desires, one impulse desire. Now, if one were to say that's living like a stone tumbling downhill and allowing such interactions or desires or impulse to take one wherever they will, they will, it's freedom. One would be incorrect to live in such a way to be a slave 
to one's desire and impulses. Real freedom is an attitude akin to pushing up one's turbulent self from below. Are you going to be living like that? Rolling down a fucking hill? Not stopping? You've got to keep pushing yourself up and up and up. Life is not meant to be easy. You, pushing oneself from below, philosopher. A stone is powerless. Once it's begun to roll down a hill, it will continue to roll and re um, release from natural laws of gravity. But, but we are not stones. We are beings who are capable of interaction. We can stop our trembling selves and climb uphill. The desire reconnection is probably a natural desire. So you're going to keep rolling downhill in order to receive recognition from others. Now, what's personality disorder? Constantly, you know, getting recognition from everyone. Are you going to wear yourself down like a rolling stone? Until everyone is moved away when all is left is a little round ball that will be the real I I can't be you are you saying that resisting one's impulses is freedom yes I reckon it is philosopher as I've repeatedly in Alfred's psychology, we think that all problems are interpersonal relationship problems. In other words, we seek release from interpersonal relationships. We seek to be free from interpersonal relationships. However, it is impossible to live all alone in the universe in light of what we have discussed until now. With research regarding what is freedom. What should be clear? You. What is it? Philosopher. In short, that freedom is being disliked by other people. You. Huh? What was that? Philosopher. It's that you are disliked by someone. It is proof that you are existing, your freedom, and living in freedom. You don't need other people to tell you what to do. You don't need these people you know, defining who you are. So I hope this is sinking in people real, real good. Philosopher, it's that you are Disliked by someone is proof that you are existing your freedom and living in freedom and a sign that you are living accordingly with your own principles. Youth, but, but, philosopher. It is distressful to be disliked. If possible, one would like to live without being disliked by anyone. One wants to satisfy one's desires for recognition, but oneself is such a way not to be disliked by anyone. It is an extreme, unfree way of living, and it's also impossible. There is a cost incurred when one wants to express one's freedom, and the cost of freedom is interpersonal relationships, is that one is disliked by other people. Youth. No, that's totally wrong. There is no way that could be called freedom. 
that's a way of thinking to codex one into evil doing philosopher you're probably been thinking of freedom as a release from an organization that breaking away from your home your school your company or nation is freedom however if you were to break away from your organization for instance you would not be able to gain real freedom unless it is unconscious by other people judgments has no fear in being disliked by other people and pays the cost that no one might never be recognized one will never be able to follow through on one's way of living that is to say one will not be able to be free you to be disliked by other people is that what you're saying philosopher what i am saying is don't be afraid to be disliked you but that's philosopher i'm not telling you to go so far to live in such a way that you will be disliked and i am not saying engage in wrongdoing please don't misunderstand that I think that speaks volumes you know some people go out of the way to do wrong things to upset people to destroy people's lives that's not to be disliked I mean I hope that's really really just sinking in right now you no. then let's change the question can people actually endure the weight of freedom are people that strong not to care even if one is disliked by one's own parents can one become self uh, righteous philosopher one neither prepares to be self-righteous nor becomes defiant one separates tasks there's many to be there may be a person who does not think well of you but that is not your task and again thinking things like he should like me or i've done all this it's so strange that he doesn't like me is the reward the way of thinking of having intermitted in other person's tasks one moves forward without fearing the possibility of being disliked one does not live as one were rolling down a hill instead climbing the slope that lies ahead that is freedom for being a human being suppose that I had two choices in front of me a life which all people liked me and a life where people who didn't like me and I was told to choose one to choose without a second thought which one would you choose before being connected with what others think of me I want you to follow through with my own being that is to say I want to live in freedom youth are you free now philosopher yes I am free youth you do you do not want to be disliked but you do not mind if you were if you were there philosopher yes that's right not wanting to be disliked is probably 
my task, but whether or not so and so dislike me is another person's task. Even if there is a person who doesn't think well of me, I can't intervene in that. To borrow from the proverb I mentioned earlier, naturally one would make the effort to lean to lead a horse to water, but whether he drinks or not is the per person's task. Youth. That's um conscience. Philosopher. The courage to be happy is also included in the courage to be disliked. When you've gained the courage, your interpersonal relationships will all be once changed into things of likenesses. <sighs> wow. That's a lot to take in, isn't it? And um, you know what road I choose to be disliked? Because of who I am in here. I can't change people. I can show them how nice I am and caring and all that, but if they hate me because I'm a good and caring person, well, that's their problem. That's their task to figure out why I need to change anyone. Um, it's a really good book to buy. Um, I recommend it. And until next time, take care of yourselves and focus on reality, just like that narcissist should. Thank you. Bye.